When I was first starting my online business, there were so many tips that I followed and they just weren't working and I couldn't figure out why. But then I realized that those tips weren't working for me because my life was totally different than the person sharing them. So one of the first things I wanna tell you when it comes to starting an online business is you have to adapt your business to your lifestyle. Mama, let's go. What? Let's go. Let's go? Which in my case, I have a family, I have a toddler. Ugh. Say hello. Hello. And so today, we're gonna take this video on the road. You yeah. ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. When hustle culture is so widespread online, we all think that's what we have to do to be successful. We have to hustle, we have to push hard every day, and it just doesn't work with all of our lifestyles. Today, we are on our way to drop him off at his aunt's house, and my husband and I are going shopping for his birthday, which is next week. And I didn't have time to film this weekend, and I do have a full-time freelancing gig, so I'm very busy. I am adapting. I am doing what I need to do to make sure I can still get a video out for you guys and still provide you value. So I am adapting and you know, people might consider this hustling, but I'm not. I feel like I'm just enjoying my day with my family, doing a more relaxed, casual video and just making my business work for me, not the other way around. And I think that's the biggest takeaway from this point is that you have to make your online business work for you, not you work for your business. So anyway, we're gonna drop him off at his aunt's house and continue our journey and stick around for the next point. Bye, I love you. Love you. Another thing that you have to think about is starting an evergreen platform like YouTube or a podcast or a blog something that can work for you long term. And that really goes back to making your business work for you instead of the other way around. Because most likely in the beginning of your journey, you might have a full-time job. Again, you might have a family. You might have a lot of other things going on in your life where you need to be putting yourself out there to work for you in the future as well. So with YouTube, I've been working on YouTube since like 2016. And I don't know when you're watching this video, but right now I have around 7,200 subscribers so fairly small when it comes to YouTube and social media but some of my videos that I posted months ago are blowing up right now and leading more of you guys to my channel so these evergreen videos are working for me even now and the great thing about them is you can include affiliate links your own products and services and even a year from now if these videos finally start taking off people are gonna click on those links and buy your digital products <laughs> I just tried to shut the door. Hold on. I'm not good at this, y'all. We just finished our shopping trip at Target, and let me tell you, you set the parents free for a couple hours, and you spend a lot of money. So moving on to my next point, that is to build a community outside of social media, outside of your online business, everything. Because the one thing with social media, you know, I want you to build an evergreen platform. I want you to be active and have a community on things like Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is that you want. But at the end of the day, you don't own those platforms. And you, of course you do own your online business, but say you have a shop on Etsy, you also want a way to communicate with them outside of your shop. So the best way to do that on both YouTube, Instagram, and through your shop is by offering something for free. A lot of people call these lead magnets, but they're also just considered freebies. And say you have an art printables Etsy shop, what you could do is create a free art printable that you give all of your customers in exchange for that, they give you their email address. And now you have access to your customer's email. You can send them updates, sales, news about your business, and you can also then lead them to your other platforms. Maybe that's YouTube or Instagram or TikTok. So you're just expanding the various ways that you can grow your business.
Another thing that I really want to mention, and this one's not that great, let's just let's just be honest, that is making sacrifices. That means no more binge watching Netflix and also making some tough decisions about how you spend your time. There are so many things I'd rather be doing than having my nose in my laptop, editing a video or creating another digital product or writing a script or doing all the various things that I do for my own business. And that's something I'm about ready to do right now. I have some work to do with my freelancing job. I'm actually gonna be doing that for a few hours and I am gonna bring my laptop out there with my son and my husband and doing the editing out there so that I'm still spending time with them. I'm still out there and available, but I can get some work done. Wish me luck. <laughs> And honestly, final, final tip for you guys is just give yourself a break because you cannot just go, go, go all the time. You have to just stop, take a deep breath, do something for yourself. You have to do things for yourself sometimes and fill up your tank. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm putting this away, getting in my PJs, and calling it a night. I hope you enjoyed the casual style video. And if you want me to go more in depth about all of these points I made, if you want specific tips on growing a community and an email list and starting a YouTube channel or how to adapt your online business to your life and not the other way around, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do that for you. And if you're ready to start right now and you need some digital product inspiration, check out this video here. And as always, Keep your head in the clouds.